Uh, hello, everyone. I'm going to go down the path that I discussed uh, in the chat today, which is the four hour, one hour, uh, 15 minute uh, analysis. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully, you can see my screen. Uh, this is my indicator window. And these are the indicators I have. So vertical lines don't need. I have them there. Uh, weekdays doesn't matter. But I have the three five one on multiple time frames. So the fifteen minute is on the five as a candle, for example. The fifteen minute per, uh, time frame has a one hour. This is the next higher time frame, basically. The one minute has the one, uh, the five minute candle, and hourly has the four hour candle and the weekly. Uh, I mean, the four hour has the daily, and so on, right? So. I have the uh, Haikarashi, uh, another, it's the cross on the daily, I set it to weekly, and then on the weekly is the monthly. So that's the way my candles are set. Uh, I don't use the beast you know, sentiment and just have it there. And then all the histogram. The histograms are set to two higher time frames. So, for example, this should be the five minute. So, on the five minute, I have the one hour histogram. On the one minute, I have the 15 minute histogram. The histogram being down here. Uh, the four hour will be the 15 minute. Okay, then one hour will have the daily histogram. The four hour will have the weekly, and the weekly will have the uh, monthly. Or the daily will have the monthly. Okay, so that's how this is set. Then my four hour time frame. Uh, you, I've already given you this, uh, but let's just change that uh, to five since I'm doing historical. Uh, and it's, it's set to just the next four time frames, whatever time frame I'm on. And I haven't changed anything in here. Okay, so those are my indicators. Now, as I was explaining in, in the chat, uh, this is the beginning of the week. So if I come in here and I start looking at that, I have a three ball here. The turnover has happened on the candles. I mean, on the histogram, that means the weekly has turned over. But I have a red candle. So I'm looking for a bullish formation. Uh, now, if I have a red candle with a blue Hakanashi in between, that means there's a possibility of a trend change, but we are in the middle of a one ball. So you let the one ball finish and here is the first indication that the trend may be changing after the one ball retracement, right? So, and then we look at the Hakanashi, uh, not everything is lined up because the uh, daily is still red, right? And at the end of the bar is the beginning of this bar. So I'll just slide it over here. And I'll drop it down to the H1. Now, you can see the H1, the daily has turned over. Hikanashis are not ready, but I'm not really worried about the Hikanashi there. Uh, or I can say, okay, I won't look at it till you know I get this. And this is at 
9 p.m. on the 16th. That was a Tuesday, right? Uh, 16th, 16, 17, 18. That's on Monday. So 9 p.m. on Monday is when I start looking at everything lining up. And if I come in on that European session, which would be on Monday, where is my? There it is. I line it up. So 15. Here is my London session. Now I'm looking for everything lining up, right? So um, 15, the four hours uh, bullish. My Kanashis are not ready, you know. So here's an aggressive entry right here, but this is the actual entry. So this is marked an entry. And if I did, well, it's so inclined to just take the trade for the day. And here's my exit. The three Akanashis here turn. And that's the 74 pip trade. Okay, so over to the next day, uh, look at the H4 first. And uh, again, we look at 9 p.m. Huh? Everything is lined up except the H4. What is it doing on the H1? Each one is not lined up on the one hour. We just lined up over here. And this is at one o'clock in the morning. And then we go down to the 15. And we're looking for the London session. Where everything is lined, it's lined up over here. So when you come in over here, you can take an entry here. Right. Well, that was my previous entry. That down. Let's say about the Asian session, because I'm the sixteenth. Uh, Here's the seventeenth. Right. Because this has already happened. I do that, stay with it. Here's my first exit right here. Depending on where you put your stops, it should have been right here somewhere. That could be 86 pips, or if you didn't put your stop, that'd be a 40 pip trade, right? So we go to the next day. That's nine o'clock. Then four hour. Four hour is still good. We're in the middle of a one one ball retrace on a four hour. So we're going to get a retracement on the fifteen, uh, and then we go see what stage one is doing. See H one showing you that there is a 15 minute short trade. So let's look at the 15, yeah, that's because the H1 and H4 are both trade on the high crash. Look at the 15 minute, come to the London session. Uh, you don't really have a trade, you have a retracement trade, but really we like trying to go long. So if you look at it this way, what did the H1 do here? H1 is not ready. H1 is ready somewhere in here. Let's say here. This is an anticipation. So here's your entry. And this will be to the end of the day. Uh, 74 pips. Now you go in the next day. Where is the 9? 
9 p.m. somewhere here. Go to the four hour. Four hours strongly bullish. And the one hour. One hour strongly bullish. So we're expecting a bullish day. And uh, here's your entry right here. See this little arrow? That means all four time frames are lined up. And here's your entry, or let's say conservative entry is here. And your exit is here. And that's 55. <laughs> so we had a 55, 40, uh, 280 bit trades or 380 bit trades. So 240, 290, 330 bits for the week. If you stayed on the four hour from this point, that's 360 bits. So we have made most of it, but we didn't take the risk of the four hour going your testers. So that's really it as far as the analysis back and forth is concerned. Okay. Now let's take another pair. Um, I'm not bringing any message your Aussie. Okay. So if you look at the Euro Aussie, we see that we have a downshift, and this three pole is suspect, right? Because it's not stable. But then you start looking at the candles, and you see this is the nine o'clock bar. You see we have a blue Hakanashi in the red candle. So this is a possibility that the momentum is changing. This is after the three ball, right? Now, that, that is only showing an H4 change. So technically, we are interested in this trade to at least do change, right? Which will be right here. Uh, that's more of a signal uh, and th uh, that the trend has changed or is about to change. If you go to an H1, And you look, we see the, the weekly is not ready. But the daily has to turn over, right? And this is, like I said, 9 p.m. So let's look at a 15 minute chart and see what's going on here. 15 minutes, the four hours being, I mean, the, the turnover. The entry is here, right there. All right, so fresh cross with an arrow. Everything is set. And this trade, all depends on how long you stay in it, but let's say your exit is here. And it's 150 pips, 140 pips, somewhere around there. So now let's go to the next day. And this is a 9 p.m. bar. Let's see what's happening on the four hour. Four hours sideways, but it's still giving a bullish. Let's see what the H1 is doing. H1 is the same, it's still bullish. And this three ball probably was here somewhere. So let's look at the 15. And we come here, and this is a possibility of a trade. Probably lose some money in this one. I lost six pips, okay? Now, let's take a look and see what's the four hours doing at this point, because we're expecting a turnaround. There is no turnaround, per se, signal on the four hours. You don't have two Akanashis that are right. So you only got 144 pips. Okay, you're Aussie, 144. 
So one hour is turned over over here into bearish territory. But this is not a 15 minute trade because uh, uh, the four hour wasn't set. So if you drop it down to the five, Where is my bar? There it is. I say, okay. It's the end of the Euro session. And we're looking for a short. Let's say we come in the US session. This is a one ball we trace. Here's the entry. And that will give us. Let's see, here's the exit. Twenty pips. And I'm looking at exits where the three Hakanashis are turned. And this is a five minute chart. So that was that on that day. Let's see. Let's go over to the next day. And I'm going back to the 15 minute chart. I'm a nine minute, nine o'clock bar, which is that one. Look at the four hour. Four hour is still not giving us indication short. H1. H1 becomes a short here. So on this bar. And drop it to a five. Uh, this is in between sessions. So we're looking for a short trade here somewhere, which would be here. This would be our entry. And the exit would be so here, you don't get much. Five tips. But you're still looking for a short. This is right there. This is actually not a trade because this is green. So this one here. And let you 19 tips. Eighteen pips. Now, the one hour has turned over. Go to the one hour. The daily has turned. We have three bars. What is the four hour? Four hours bullish. So we go back to the 15, and we're looking for bullish entries. And this is the US session. There's an entry, an exit, break even. But you have a potential of 30 pips. So even though the four hour was sideways, as you can see, there is no trade set up here. It's a two ball retrace giving you a potential of a long. Uh, but really there is nothing. The four hour indication that it's going long here. So let's say it taken as an open of this one. Here's the H1. H1 is not quite ready. So really there's no trade, but you get a 15 minute as after hours. So that's a short presentation of what, uh, what the system looks like. Hopefully this is hope uh, helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you, bye.